All right, for this cute little stethoscope with a heart ornament, you will need a couple different colors of yarn. So I used red for my heart, white for my background, and then I used black and gray, but you can use whatever colors you like. And you will also need, oh, and I'm just using regular medium weight yarn, size four medium weight. You will also need a size G crochet hook, a little yarn needle, a pair of little scissors, and I'm going to use two little stitch markers, but you don't need them, but I think they're kind of helpful. So the very first thing we're going to make is the little tiny circle at the tip of our stethoscope. So to do that, I'm just going to make a magic circle. I'm sure there's probably a medical technical term for this thing, but <laughs> I'm not a medical person. I don't know what it would be. <laughs> so chain one, you know, it's the part that you put on a person's heart when you're listening to it. <laughs> and we're going to single crochet eight times in our magic circle. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we can cut our yarn because we're all finished with this. Cut it a tiny bit long because you might be able to use it to sew. You can either use that end or the magic circle end. Um, towards the end, we're going to attach this to this piece here. And so close your magic circle partially closed and then slip stitch over into your first single crochet to complete the little circle around. And now you can pull your magic circle the rest of the way closed. Make sure you get it all the way magic circles are tricky sometimes but just make sure it's closed <laughs> and there we go and then we will come back to this piece later so I'm just gonna set it aside because we don't need it right now now we're going to move on to the next part and I'm gonna go ahead and do the little red heart for the center because that's another quick little piece so for that we're gonna start out with a magic circle again and in our magic circle, let's lock our circle. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. Now I'm going to do two double crochets. Here's a one and two. Now two half double crochets. one double crochet. Now two half doubles. Two more doubles. And then I'm going to chain three, one, two, three and slip stitch down into the center of my circle. Now I'm going to pull this magic circle closed up. I can snip my yarn again because we're finished with that and pull this little circle closed to make our little heart. And again, you can leave those pieces a little bit long because you'll need them, at least one of them to sew this little heart into the center of our little stethoscope background. 
there we go so there's our cute little heart and we'll set that to the side i used sparkle yarn for this one i don't know if it shows up on camera but i thought that would be kind of heart uh, cute to make my heart sparkly for christmas <laughs> all right now we get to get started with our actual stethoscope so we're going to be doing the background first so i'm grabbing my white you can do this in any color you want though. I made one, my practice one, I did in a pink background. This would be really cute like to make for Valentine's Day, I think, because it's like a heart in a heart. But for this one, since it's a little more Christmassy, or for whatever you wanna make it for, I'm gonna use white. So I'm gonna start out with a magic circle once again. Now, I'm going to chain two one and two. Now in my magic circle, I'm going to do three double crochets. One, two, three. Now four half double crochets. Here's one, two, three. Here's my fourth half a double. Now I'm going to do a double crochet and then four half doubles. One, two, three, Four, now three doubles. One, two, three, and now I'm going to chain two and then slip stitch down into my magic circle. Now I'm gonna pull it partially closed just so I can get back to the beginning to work around two, but I'm not gonna close it all the way yet. Now for round two of my little heart or little background white part here, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. Now in the first double crochet here, the first stitch, I'm so I'm going to skip this chain and in this double crochet, I'm going to put a single crochet and a half double crochet. And I'm going to go ahead and place my stitch marker on that first single crochet that I just made, just so I can find it. You absolutely do not need to use stitch markers. I just find it so much easier to know where I'm starting and ending and all of that. <laughs> so we just did single crochet and half double crochet in that first little stitch. Now in the next two, we're going to do two half double crochets in each one. So there's a half double crochet. My yarn is splitting, you guys. <laughs> I seriously don't have issues like this with my yarn splitting. I think it's just because I hold it like out for it to be on the camera, you know? And um, it's a slight bit of an awkward grip for me. And so... <laughs> It's like an odd angle to, ha to hold my hook and all of that, but anywho. Okay, we just did two half double crochets in each of those next stitches. Now I'm going to do a half double crochet in the next one. And then in each of the next three, I'm going to do a single crochet. So here's single crochet, single crochet, and single crochet. Now in this one, I'm going to do a half double, a double, and a half double. So here's my half double, my double, and my half double. There we go. And now coming back up the other side, I'm going to do three single crochets one in each of the next stitches. There's one, there's two, and there's three. And now in the next one, I'm going to do one half double, 
Now in each of the next two, I'm going to do two half doubles. So there's a half double and another half double. And then in the next one, a half double and another half double. And in the very last one, this is our last little stitch, it's a double crochet, I'm going to do a half double and then a single in it. So here's a half double and a single. And I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch down into the center of my magic circle. So that's why we didn't close our magic circle up yet. There we go. Now I'm going to pull this out and I can cut this yarn because we're all finished with our white. Cut this a little bit long though because we can use these two strings as this hangy part at the end. Just makes it a little easier. Since we've got some yarn there, might as well use it. Now I'm also, I'm going to pull this loop out, but I'm also going to go ahead and mark my last single crochet just because it's a little easier for me to see. That way I know where I'm starting and ending with my little stethoscope. So you can do that if you want to, but you don't have to. Now I like to run my last little piece of yarn that I just pulled through for the last stitch. I like to run it down through the center before I pull my magic circle closed. And now we're just gonna close it up. Just pull, 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 give it a little tug. There we go, you can hear it cinch closed. There we go, and now, yep, at the very end, we're gonna weave these up to the top to be our little, our little hangy part. And now we get to start the fun part of our stethoscope. So I'm going to take out this first little stitch marker and put my stitch, my hook right into that stitch. And now I'm going to draw up a loop with black and we're going to be starting on our little earpiece here. So I'm just going to chain one and then do a half double crochet. And I'm going to be crocheting on this tail end to cover it up. And then in the next stitch, I'm going to do a single crochet. But I'm not going to finish it in black because I'm going to be changing to our gray on this one. So I just inserted my hook and drew up a loop in black. Now I'm going to yarn over with gray and pull it on through. So now we are switched to gray. I'm going to give my black yarn a little tug because sometimes our yarn gets loose when we change colors. Just give it a little pull. Now in the next one, I'm going to be crocheting in gray and I'm going to be crocheting on top of the ends and on top of the black to bring it along with me because I'm gonna need it again down here. So I'm going to do two single crochets in gray in this next stitch, one and two. In the next one, I'm going to do one single crochet in gray. In the next one, two single crochets in the next one, one single crochet. Now in the next one, I'm going to do one gray single crochet, but I'm going to be switching back to black in the middle of it. So insert, draw up a loop, and then we're going to yarn over with black and pull it on through. Now I'm going to be crocheting for black for a little while, and I'm going to be crocheting over these ends and bringing the gray along with me because I'm going to be using it on the other side over here. But you know what? I think I'm actually gonna snip these ends off. So snip. And now we're going to crochet in black. So first I'm going to do actually five single crochets in black. So one single crochet one in the next one. All right, there's two. Here's three single crochets, four single crochets, and five. Now I'm going to chain 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20. And now we get to grab this little silver circle that we made earlier and we're going to slip stitch into it. So I'm going to find in back loops only with it facing upwards like this, I'm going to put one little slip stitch right here in the back loop only and one oh can i get this through yes i can <laughs> and one in the next little stitch back loop only just a little slip stitch and now ooh, now i'm going to slip stitch back up my chain so just find the next available chain on your chain and we're going to slip all the way back up to the tip of our little background right up here. And now once we get to our very last chain, we're gonna do our little slip stitch. And now we're going to single crochet in that same stitch that we just single crocheted in. And we will be bringing the gray along with us once again. One single crochet in there. And now we're going to single crochet in the next four. So there's one, but on the fourth one, we're switching back to gray. There's two, there's three. Now here's the fourth one. Insert, draw up a loop, and then yarn over in gray to switch back to our gray. Now, still bringing the black along with us now. Oh, let me unwind a little bit here. There we go. Now in gray, we're going to do one single crochet in each of the next two. So there's one, there's a two. In the next one, we're going to do two single crochets, one and two. In the next one, one single crochet. And in the next one, two, but we're going to be switching back to black on the second one. So there's one. And here's two, switching back to black. At this point, we can cut our gray yarn if you like, because we're all finished with it. And you can either crochet on top of it to cut it over here or you can leave it there so we can weave it into the back either way but now we're going to do a single crochet and in the next one a half double crochet so that's my very last one so I'm gonna pull that little stitch marker out because I'm stitching into that little stitch half double crochet and that is it there's our second little ear piece so now i can pull out my yarn i'm going to snip it and now i'm just going to weave in some of my ends actually only this gray and the black because all these other ones are going to help us sew and all of that stuff so first let's just weave in this black yarn here I'm going to weave it through the back and down some of these gray stitches and then chop it and then the gray same thing let's bring it down through some of the gray to chop it as well all right choppa choppa now we get to do some sewing and stitching and all these things so first We've got our little silver end of our little stethoscope here, the little part that you put on a patient's heart. I like to stitch mine to the stethoscope so it doesn't move. So you don't have to, but I like to take this, take one of the little gray ends and just do 
two little stitches to somewhere on the black here. So I'm doing it in the third stitch and I'm going back loop only and I'm just stitching through the back loop. And then through the back loop of the next black one, just to secure it, um, just with a couple little stitches. And now I still have my magic circle yarn there too. I'm just gonna give it a little tug because magic circles always need an extra little tug, right? <laughs> so what I do with these, since I have two ends here, I'm gonna tie them in a little knot, just a little tiny, left over right or right over left. And then you can secure them by running them up the back of your stitches or down the back of your stitches, wherever you like, just to secure them. Or you can probably just cut them and they would be secure enough, but I always feel like it's always extra good to just kind of weave them in so that your stitches never come apart. So I'm just gonna weave them right up there so that little one will be nice and secure. Next, we can weave these little ends up to make our little hangy part so that whether you're making it an ornament or a present topper, it'll have a nice little part to hang. So I just take one of the ends either the magic circle or the one you pulled to the center doesn't matter and I just weave it up kind of through the stitches and up to the very top of the chain up here and I'm going to do the same thing with the other side so that you have two little parts coming out of the top right there for hanging now if you wanted to you could also get like a contrasting piece of ribbon or yarn and that would be really pretty too like you could use the red sparkle of the heart. You could actually use that string. If you cut it long enough, you could stitch your heart on and then also use it as your hanging string. But I just wanted mine to be white so it kind of like blends in, but um, you know, also gives me a little part to hang with. There we go. And once both of those are at the top, I just tie them into a little loop. And now the very last part of our cute little stethoscope is to put our pretty little heart on there. So just grab one of the ends of your yarn. It doesn't even matter which one. I'm gonna grab the longer one and just thread it on through. And then you're just gonna stitch your little heart onto your little stethoscope, just like this. So there is in your little white background area, there's kind of like a heart within there. And that's kind of where I stitched the red heart or whatever color your heart is. <laughs> but really you just wanna center it and kind of put it wherever you want, but it's kind of like a nice little guideline that you can stitch it kind of where that little outline of a heart is. And just like that, I'm just doing a little up, down, up, down, easy peasy running stitch to get my heart secured to my little stethoscope. Nope. Just like that. And then once you've got it all nice and secured, you can bring this little piece of yarn down in there too. You could do a couple stitches with this one if you like to make it extra secure, or you can just weave it through to hide it. And then you are all finished with your cute little stethoscope, but let's get these little yarns through to show you how cute it is. And there we go, y'all. We've got a cute little stethoscope that is a pretty little present topper or something to decorate your gift card holder or whatever you like.